Today on the show, we'll be talking about how to make an effective Tyranid army without breaking the bank in the process. 1,000 points or bust. are the terror from beyond. They are unknowable, untiring, and nearly indestructible. Every time you kill them, ten more pop up in their place, and they become ever more resilient the longer you fight them. Learning how to deflect everything from pulse weaponry to last cannons. They are the single greatest destructive force in the universe, and they are on your doorstep today. We have Planet P is clear. Negative sir, this place crawls. This particular video won't be covering tactics or recommending which version of Tyranids you should play, but we will be building a battalion list that will help you get used to the way that the Tyranids as a whole come together. Of course, you'll need the Tyranid Codex and the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook to play the game, both of which are available at the link down below. So, let's get started with the ever-present start collecting box. Now this one comes with the Broodlord and eight Gene Stealers, some of which will be used in this list. Because of the way that point restrictions have come together, we actually will only be fielding about 16 Gene Stealers. Uh, unfortunately, this means that you'll have to pick up another box of them. But you can kit those extra ones out with the interesting uh, variants and test those out while you're going, so it's a bit of a horse apiece. Now, in this box, we've got a Broodlord and the Gene Stealers, of course, but we've also got a Trigon, which is an important Synapse creature that will keep your critters from going nuts. Synapse creatures are usually the bigger units here, uh, and Synapse is what keeps your chittering hordes of bugs from just kind of going on a rampage or acting erratically or randomly over the course of the game. Not something you want to deal with, eh? So to that we also have a Hive Tyrant, which you can build into a couple of different variants, depending on what, if you want him flying, or if you want to build him as, say, the Swarm Lord. Uh, we have just got a basic Hive Tyrant here, but he is a powerful psychic unit, which will keep your boys buffed as you go along. Likewise, we've got our Termagants, and we've got our Hormagants, and our Extra Gene Stealers. These will be forming the front lines and the expendable infantry that you'll be throwing in droves at, say, Imperial Guard or whatever else you decide to get in a fight with. It's pretty straightforward. Again, these are not complicated armies. You just have to kind of get your head around the basics, like, okay, these guys are shooty, these guys are stabby. How do I effectively make sure that the shooty guys get to shoot and the stabby guys get to stab without getting caught out? But as your final point of backup, we also have a Tyrannofex! Big bugs. With big rupture cannons in this case. Uh, he'll be your anti-tank. Not that you can't handle tanks on your own. Hive Tyrants and Trigons, but if you want dedicated, anti-heavy, anything fire, a rupture cannon's a sure way to do it. The way this list is structured is to give you an effective mix of big bugs and little bugs to kind of let you know how much you want to deal with chittering hordes versus nidzillas. There are plenty of different options that you can take on the Hive Tyrant and on the Tyrannofex. You can even build them as a Turbagon, though you'll need much, much, much more in the way of Hormagons to really get the most out of that one. But it should show you pretty much what you're going to be doing, which is launching yourself headfirst at the enemy, heedless of casualties, just so long as your big guys don't get squished. This is by no means exhaustive, of course, but it should give you an idea of just what a Tyranid army should look like when you're starting out. And if you go on down to the Fantasy Games website and check out our 1,000 points or bust subcategory, you can get a jump start on collecting all of them. Once you get your head around it, you can come on back down and get your paints and supplements and data cards to really get your game on. And once you're ready for more Tyranids, there are plenty more to collect. Maybe try some Carnifexes, or maybe just a whole lot more Termagants. Whatever you decide, they're all available at Fantasy Games. Thanks for watching.